All right, people. The first thing you should do is go to your Google site. So if you don't have that open yet, please make sure your site is, is open. You'll need that open because you'll need to reference the things that are on your site. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open your Google Drive. So there's, a, of course, a few different ways you can do this. Just type in Drive, and your Google Drive will be open. Maybe it is already. And if you haven't done this yet, we're going to all make a new folder. So click on New. And if you don't use folders at all on sites, I would highly recommend that you do to keep you organized. You're going to click on the plus button right here. And we're going to call this folder Computer Applications Website. And when you've got that name typed in, you're going to simply click on the blue Create button. So you're going to create that folder and you will see that drop in to your Google Drive and it should highlight in blue. So all of you should be looking at a page that looks something like this right here. The reason you created this folder is because we're going to set that folder with a certain permission so that everything you pull or move into that folder gets that same permission. This is so on your website, the documents that are on your website will also go in this folder and they'll all have the same permission which is called anyone with the link. So first let's set this folders permissions. So I am going to go up here to this plus sign at the top of your drive. I'm going to click on it and here's where I'm going to set the permissions. What I want to do is click on this get shareable link button and I am going to now change my permissions to so I have this open. I clicked on people at Ontario Christian with the link can view. I'd like to change it to anyone with the link. This is so if you would share this with your grandmother, she would be able to see everything just like I would or somebody in class would, just in case. So just to be clear, this does not allow people to search your name and find it. If it's anyone with the link, it doesn't show up in search engines. So, click on Save, and then click on Done. Now, anything that you pull into this folder or move into this folder will get that same permission. So anyone who goes to your website actually has the link to your documents and they will be able to be, they'll be able to view them. So here's our next step. I'll show you with uh, a couple of my uh, assignments. So go to your website and on your biography page there shouldn't be anything I don't think that needs to be changed, although you do have your slideshows, your getting to know slideshows. I have a Prezi that for whatever reason isn't showing up right now, so I'm going to go to my Unit 1 page. So here's what you need to do. You need to find all of these assignments and move them into your computer applications website folder. So here's how you do that. First thing, and it's not as time-consuming as it sounds. My company logo is the first, so let's all do our company logo together. I'm going to go back to my drive, so clicking on my drive, and I'm just going to search for that, because I renamed mine. I know I did, but maybe you didn't. 
So I have my company logo, except I have way too many because all of yours show up on my search as well. So I also know that it's saved in a particular folder. So I'm going to go to that folder. And here's my company logo. Here's what I'm going to do. So first, find your company logo. Secondly, I'm going to move it into that folder. And I can do it a few different ways. I think this way is easiest. So now I'm going to show you how to move it. I'm going to right click is one way. And I'm going to go to move to. And I'm just going to click on the computer applications website folder right here. This is the one I just created. And I'm going to click move. And then I'm going to say yes, OK. And it says the company logo sample has been moved. And that's good. I want it to be in that folder. So the permissions automatically change so people on my website can see it. I'll give you, I'll show you another example if you need it. My second assignment on here is my company overview. So on my drive, I'm going to find my company overview. It's right here. I'm going to do the same thing. You can either right click or you can click right up here on the more actions dots. And I'm going to click move to. And again, I'm going to select that same folder, computer applications website. I'm going to click move. I'm going to click OK again. And it moved it. You should do that. It's a little bit tedious, but you should do that for anything that's in your Google Drive. So you do not need to do this for your MindMeisters or your Google Maps. But you do need to do it for all of your other assignments. I'll give one more example, and I'll show you on the business plan. So on my business plan, I'm going to find it in my drive. So here's my business plan. And I'm going to click on the dots, or right click, go to Move To, and click on Computer Applications Website Folder, and click Move, and OK. So again, you do not need to do this for your company map or your MindMeister but all your other documents that are saved in your Google Drive, you should go through that same process. So take a few minutes to do that.